Hi guys, um, I'm trying to make another collage for the night photos in the Chris and Lisa and disappearance case because I received some really interesting things from a YouTube member called Mutiny on the Kit Kats and I will show you um, the information he sent me. Um, what he did was he actually found another nighttime photo that matches in with the with the collage that I made before, so it is not complete, so I wanted to make an update now. Um, I'm showing you the steps I took to implement the tips I received from Mutiny on the KitKat. What he basically says is there is another photo that matches, which is the SOS photo, officially called. Uh, the photo seems to be taken from a single location at the base of a bare rock wall, perhaps, he writes me among some large rounded rocks that are probably on the side of a stream or a river channel. Pill spots are what look like rain or possibly drifting spray in the air from either unseen cascading water or a waterfall nearby. A few plants are growing along the top of the rock wall, brightly lit being close and directly behind these up on this higher ground level are dense bushes and greenery, also well lit by the camera flash. At the camera, as the camera points upwards in most of the later photos, they show uh, the view directly overhead of much darker weakly lit towering tall trees. What well, We've all seen that. But um, he uses the um, photo enhanced uh, nighttime shots of the, the rock plateau. And then he shows basically that the SOS photo matches in with the rocks um, I already um, combined. Uh, which I will show you now. Everything, everything ties together. So it seems we have another little piece of that puzzle, um, which leaves us basically with only one photo um, that hasn't been matched into the overall composition, the collage, uh, which is the one with the red plastic attached to the to the little branches. Um, it is perhaps it can be matched in as well, but that is a big question mark because with all the other photos I linked together. They were really specific points of overlap, so very distinct um, greenery in a specific shape, which matches exactly along the, the borders with other photos. So all the ones you're seeing now um, have a 100% overlap edge. And that cannot be said of the SOS, um, I'm sorry, of the, the plastic on the uh, branch photo. It may fit in here but it is not a certainty. But thanks to Mutiny and the Kit Kat, we have another, um, another piece of the puzzle. And in this other uh, image, he says also he makes a really good drawing, I think, um, black with the, white, um, with the white lines of what he thinks may be the overall situation. Um, he wonders if... The, the branches with the plastic may have been a signaling flag up onto the higher ground behind. Twigs might be much longer as it extends off the side of the photo. That's the problem with the flash. Um, the flash of the camera, um, it may distort the, um, 
the real distance between things. It may, it may appear that some things are closer by or further away than they really are. But that's not the problem, I think. It seems like a lot of photos have been taken by standing in one place and turning the camera right, 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 while clicking away, or left, 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 and you make photos from all your surroundings that way. Which does allow us to combine all these photos through the edges that overlap, but it also makes it really hard to make a reliable collage, because you basically put photos taken from different perspectives into one big photo. And to illustrate a bit how this can contort the image, I like to refer to a famous Dutch uh, giant-sized painting called Panorama Mesdag. It's from a Dutch, famous Dutch painter who made a painting of the shoreline, but he showed it in a round dome. Here you can see um, what it looks like when you're standing in front of the painting. You're supposed to view it while standing in the center and looking all around you. And then the perspective is just right, but when you stretch a replica of the painting out flat on the table, it no longer looks realistic. And he made it on purpose that way, of course. So, you know, so just like some artists um, make these famous ceiling paintings, and if you stand on the ground and you look up, the image has just the right perspective and dimensions, even though there are, well, dozens, sometimes hundreds of meters in between. Well, when a painter is actually making it and painting it himself, being high up towards the ceiling, he needs to distort the image while painting it. And sometimes it's about elongating some parts or using different perspective, just in order so that you on the ground have the right image. And he, he uses, you know, distortion to, to, to correspond with the right viewing angle, if that makes sense. Um, you can see an example of what I mean. So anyway, I'm wondering now if printing out this collage and bending the image in a curved manner um, may perhaps make more sense, you know, if, if perspective-wise, maybe. Because right now, to me, it's just... I don't know. It is, it is only making it clear to me that these photos were taken from the same place and not while they were on the run or anything. But it doesn't make it very clear what the person actually standing there saw left, right and center, you know? Which Im images are stacked, which images were really in one long line, or, or, or are we watching the sky and everything we see is around us, I don't know. So I'm trying it out. Um, all I found out now based on this is that it seems to me that the collage looks like a f photographer was standing inside a cave or something. You know, and pictures of um, edges of the cave and the trees and the sky outside can be seen, but I'm not really convinced. Another possibility is that we have to make one long, ongoing, horizontal collage, putting all the edges together as if it were all part of the ground. Um, I will try that now. And I don't think this is a very convincing um, collage either. So anyway, I'm leaving it up to you to interpret these images. Um, the only thing we gained is that all images fit together, except maybe for the uh, one with the little twigs with plastic. I assume they fit in as well, but because we don't have an exact um, overlap yet of very small details. Maybe someone will find it, but I haven't found it yet. So this is all I can do for now. Thank you.